you, you take that left turn right into the entrance um, off, off of Pump House Drive and you see this building and it blows you away. Your, your breath is taken away by, but just by looking at it because it doesn't fit. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it should be there, but it is and that's exciting. It looks something like an old church. The Bird Park Pump House, sometimes called the New Pump House, was used between 1893 and 1924 to help get Richmond its water. Recently, a group called Friends of Pump House have started offering historic tours inside the 135-year-old building. And if you can't make it to one of the tours to see inside the pump house, there's plenty to explore on the outside. So watch your step and uh, try not to get lost. When you come to Pump House Park, there's, there's a bunch you can do. It's, it's part of the larger trail system um, throughout the James River Park system. But inside, that's where all the magic happened. So you had turbine, pump. That's Lynn Lanier. Folks call him Mr. Pump House. He kind of knows everything about this place. And if you're nice, he'll give you a tour. We start at the western door and we go all the way through the building. He'd rather take you around himself than to have you trespass. It's almost a constant battle with uh, people staying out of the building that have no regards for the building. We have metal pieces sticking up here. You trip and lose your balance, you could wind up impaled. And if you're in here by yourself, ain't nobody coming to help. But beyond pumping water, Wilfred E. Cutshaw, the Richmond City engineer behind the pump house, wanted to incorporate a social aspect into the building as well. Now, upstairs where the dance floor is. So this is the ballroom. It doesn't seem to fit when, when you first come up here. I remember my first time when I came here, it just blew me away. I didn't, I didn't expect it. It was totally uh, designed for a social event. Our goal is to make this place usable again. We need to um, get, some, get some big donors. We need to apply for some sizable grants. Um, to the point where we can accomplish some of these larger projects that will help us take those steps to getting a certificate of occupancy so people can use it. It would have been very easy for the city to just come in and demolish this building and not thought twice about it. We're really lucky that this building still stands. For a list of times when they open up the Pump House for historic tours and information how you can volunteer or donate to the Friends of Pump House Park to help out this place, visit WTVR.com. Maybe someday you can have your office holiday party at the Pump House. Chris Jenkins, CBS 6.